<laughs> well, it's the free win, or a high percentage, apparently. Mm, it's quite high percentage, but the uh, the way you lose is if he Doom Hammers on turn 5. Mm. I would... I, you seem to be very reluctant, and uh, it's interesting why, but I would keep the Doom uh, Sayer in starting hand here. Okay, uh, the reasoning for why, at least from my perspective, and uh -huh. I know that usually I'm going... I'm just going to explain myself, and I'll know yeah. that you're the expert, just as an FYI. So, my argument for not keeping it is that it seems like it would be up against control deck, and I'm not sure like when it would even be right to play Doomsayer. Uh, your turn. So, uh, the best time, if it's ever going to get value, the best time for it to get value is early, before he's drawn all the Earthshocks and Hexes, etc. So you can play it on something like turn 4, and he might just opt to damage it, and it heals you for 7. And otherwise, it never gets value. Okay. And you are, you already have a turn two play, so you don't have to fish for something better, especially. Now I have two novice engineers. Would you consider coin engineer engineer? I think I would. Okay. Because it maximizes the chance that you get a that turn three play that you want, which is arcane intellector accolade. Okay. Sure. And if all else fails, developing the ice block isn't bad either. Yep. What we've learned from Dreamhack is that you always uh, control the totems. If you have a loot hoarder or a novice engineer out on the board, you don't go for face, because Alex Strauss is going to hit in the face. Sure. Okay, makes sense. Uh, so I don't even mind um, Doom right now. But maybe you could consider to save Doom for like a turn 7 double Doom. Frost Nova, since the both Doom Sayers have appeared. Hmm. Interesting. Because then he has at least a chance of not having both mm. answers to the Doom Sayers. But I think Doom here is not incorrect. Neither is Ice Block. I don't know. I'll let you pick. Alright, it's one of those plays where you consider both to be right. More or less, yeah. Okay. And uh, optimizing your curve is never really wrong, in my opinion. How much uh, Miracle Rogue have you played? So it was the first deck I made Legend with. This mm -hmm. is a couple months ago. Uh, so I'm fairly new to anything approaching high level. But yeah, I played a lot of Miracle to reach Legend. And then the season after that, I played Shaman to reach Legend. And uh, yeah, then I discovered the joys of Freeze Mage. Okay, so I have a cool. decent understanding of the matchup. That's why like, I when I wanted to beat Miracle and not play it, I kind of had an insight in how to do it. So I'm inclined to <clears throat> double hit Fire Blast and Doomsayer. Yeah, I like that. And you certainly hit the one on the left. Yeah. Sure. You, you know this better than I do. Ah. I was watching your uh, sort of, if not initiation, then the coaching session anyway you had with uh, Hafu on mm. Miracle. It's pretty fun. Yeah. Hafu, uh, actually, you just remind me of the reason. Hafu is someone who doesn't believe or isn't as strongly inclined to follow a curve. And I noticed that you've really emphasized following curve. And I tend to be more towards following curve. I love following curve. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like we said, that's the best value we're going to hope for out of Doom against Shaman. Yep. His next they turn, if he develops anything at all, Frost Nova Doomsayer. Mm -hmm. And then we get into the blues. Yep. Especially now that we have the other Nova to burn. The end is coming. But we do expect Shock or uh, Hex. And if that happens, Blizzard. Well, it could be a consideration to develop the Acolyte and uh, just Nova. Yeah, especially since because the Flame Strike. Flame Strike is coming, yeah. So I think I would do that instead. Yep. And actually, is this worth your Nova? Yeah, it's worth your Nova. For sure. Yeah, 8 damage. Okay. Yep. If we had the 
Ice Barrier and a Nova, it would be somewhat of a consideration which one to play, because Nova gets better, and Ice Barrier kind of negates all the damage on the board. Is there some uh, threshold of damage? I know it. I know the answer is it depends, but I'm going yes. to ask you anyways. Is there <laughs> some threshold on damage to Frost Nova? Like, when uh, do you feel good about Frost Nova and how much damage? I want a Nova, well, more than one minion, and something like five damage or more. But okay. it depends. Yep. <laughs> like, if, if I have an Ice Barrier and I know that the Nova's going to get more value later, then I will, I'll want to use the Barrier if it's only, like, uh, eight damage or less on the board. Because it's like a, a freebie extra Nova. I see. Which is the wi the wisdom behind using Ice Barrier instead of Vaporize, in my opinion. It's more like a board freeze, because it just negates a turn. And then your big board clears are coming out later. Hmm. So is this turn a Flame Strike or a Blizzard, since the Flame Strike doesn't kill the Fire Elemental, but it is on Curve and it kills everything else? It's on Curve, it kills everything else, and there is a Taunt, which is not uh, super trivial for him to remove, maybe. So the Nightmare is that you leave it at 1 and then he Doom Hammers and hits you what for 8. Do? What to do? Um, Blizzard, you don't have to worry about healing Totem, because Flame Strike is still a kill on the 4 health fire elemental. I think I prefer I Blizzard, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I like Blizzard. I don't want to take the, the damage. Okay. I was thinking about it through myself and I came to the same conclusion. Cool. Although, if you had told me to flame strike, I probably would have listened to you instead. Yeah, you have to remember that the, the best coaching is a little bit combative. You have to make some make some arguments for your team. Yep. Alright, flame strike it is. Yes. Do you want to ice lance this There's 14? even a consideration to ice lance it. <laughs> uh, but... I wonder. Nah, I don't love it because we want to kill him. ASAP after Alex, and we expect that we're going to not get pops here, so we can Alex, in fact. I see. Okay. I mean, what's the way that you do get pops? He only has one rock biter. Uh, Alec here is 12, plus 4 is 16. That doesn't do it. Wow, you're actually considering the scenarios where he pops you, huh? On I, well, I don't turn. think he can. Oh, well, on this Because he can't do Doom turn. Hammer double rock biter. I think he does pop us after we Alex, though, don't you? Um, I think it's about 50-50 on that. So that's uh, 11. I still, think, I still think there's a chance that it doesn't happen, but it doesn't matter since we've got the other ice block. So just yeah. Alex. I bring I think so. yeah. Suppose we didn't have the ice block, would you do anything different? Well, there's the option to Drake and armor up and potentially freeze the 6-2. Uh, because that adds uh, 8 plus 6 health and uh, draws you deeper and develops the 4-4 and puts spell damage on the board. It gives a certain number of options. Alright, so is that what you would do instead of Alex if there was no ice block in hand? Or like, or played out? Oh, if we have the trap up but we don't have the ice block in hand? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I, I would like it because I, want, I don't want to get in a situation where I'm popped and I don't have lethal and I don't have ice block. Okay. What? For obvious reasons. Now he does have to control Straza because otherwise he's opening up the chance that you get to attack face with it. Yep. Always little time. Ooh. Fancy. I haven't seen that card in a while. Yep. The double flame strike starts to look smarter in that deck that runs that. Because in situations like this, it's quite strong to have another one. Five, seven, eight, nine. So that's uh, 14 damage. Yeah. So if we simply uh, develop the ice block and ping him. Then that's game next so that's turn. Okay. Pretty good, unless he can heal somehow. So, um. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, it's important to keep the Drake because that's 3 damage. Yeah. So ice block, ice barrier, fire blast him. And yeah. just hit 
Do something oh, irrelevant with Kalash Jazza. Okay. Yeah. I will mourn you. If he has the surprise healing, then he has some regrets, but. The this regrets our... being not frostbolting the 6 2. And I mean, what regret is there? No, I mean, we don't have regrets in our play. We just have regrets about life. <laughs> I see. This is our play no matter what. Yep. See, so, yeah, how many cards did we end up uh, cycling? We have 13 left. Like, it was entirely possible we didn't find a, a way to kill. Hmm, I see, yep. The faster Shaman goes, the better his odds are, more or less. Maybe if I go back to playing Shaman, I'll consider the uh, a one of the RF just to mess with this game plan a little bit. <laughs> you think this uh, deck is popular enough to consider that? Popular enough to justify that? No, I don't actually think so. But you know, maybe someday. Yeah, it's a thing to consider. I actually um, began running Control Warrior right after Dream Hack because I saw this. I thought this deck would become super popular. I saw Tides, I think, doing the same thing, and when someone told me that Tides had done hours and hours of just Control Warrior, I didn't actually perceive that message as speech, I just heard this, like, uh, death knell for Freeze Mage, but it turned out I don't think it popularized Control Warrior that much. I haven't been seeing too much more than I did that season. Maybe there's just a limited number of people who actually play the deck. Yeah, maybe. But uh, if I may ask, do you use the uh, the Kekatsi variation or the old school Gina control war? And do it. I use the Kekatsi with a slight inclination towards heavier cards. So okay. kind of a mix. I rarely ever go with the list as is. I mean, I, right. I like to go with the list as is for like a few tens of games, and then. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then you kind of figure out what you like about it. Okay, right, so it seems like there's a lot of good cards in this hand, like too many good cards, so it seems like yeah. you might want to get rid of one of the intellects. Yeah, I mean, the only other option is to keep both intellects and acolyte, because you, you're worried about acolyte slowing you down too much, period, in this matchup, because of a uh, Shadow Word Pain. Uh, okay. I don't um, think anyone I'm runs. I'm not too scared pain. of that. So, what would you replace? Um, I might just keep all three. Okay, because the card is just that good. Yeah, Arcane okay. is amazing. And Priest probably isn't going to be the type to put a ton of pressure on you, so you're going to get the chance to draw all these cards that you want to draw. Okay, so supposing you're up against the Priest and say he has nothing, would you do the Acolyte or the Arcane Int? Right now I want to do Acolyte even to soak the 3, even though it's a bad trade. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if you get like too much value out of Acolyte, you're actually going to overdraw playing double arcane into Drake, etc. But maybe it's worth thinking about for us for another second. Like, um... Hmm. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I guess I would... Uh, it's, it's iffy. I mean, I personally would have always done Arcane Elect because it's a bad trade like you mentioned, but I trust your judgment on this. It's a bad trade, uh, mm -hmm. but the thing is, waiting to get two draws out of that Acolyte with his hand is just not too important. I see, because of the two Arcane no Elect. And I think he might Shadow Word, even with a good trade, he might Shadow Word Paint it anyway, just to deny the draw. Though that's good, because then it burns itself. Oh, yeah, that's true. And then we could ping it, but yep. we're going to Arcane next turn anyway. Alright, so what are we doing? <laughs> your, your pick. Oh boy. Oh no, um, it's, it's iffy. I'll go with this one. No, I'll okay. go with this one. Let the to me. It's a good preemptive play, that Pyromancer, for what we wanted to do. Well, yeah, he played a 2 mana 3-2, two three two, probably because that was his only play. <laughs> That's how I read it. Hmm. So contrary to everything I said mere moments ago, he is developing pressure. 
on us. Would have it seemed like it might have been terrifying if he used circle of healing. Eh, yeah. Not that scary. You can fire so there's frostbolt? the option to frostbolt that guy. Yeah. Uh against priest though, you have to worry that any direct damage not spent on the face, because after Straza, he does have two holy fires remaining. So you can afford to lose a little bit of burn on minions, but not too much. But if this slows him down a lot, then it's worth it. Okay. Uh, I'm inclined it's a, it's to do it. It's an iffy play, and I'm, I'm letting you uh, make the calls, I guess. Well, I'm more interested in hearing what you would do. Like, I, I'm saying I would do this, but what would you do? Yeah, I think I would do it because it slows down his game plan probably so much. Okay, okay. it is worth noting that you're extremely hesitant on doing that, and I'll remember it. Yeah, because I don't want to use uh, my finite burn before the priest gets strazzed, because I want to be able to kill him afterwards. Got it. Shields up. Right, I think the next turn is intellect. Yeah, for sure. Into almost certainly Drake. I don't know what could be better. Okay. The nightmare is a uh, ice block. <laughs> it's happened to me that the priest got two ice blocks, and only the second one was the reason why he got saved. But play anything enough, and stuff like that will happen. Yep. Job's done. Nice lens. Cute. Really? He doesn't want to get rid of your Drake? Not quite. How convenient for you. That's pretty good. Yeah. Thanks, guy. Uh, next turn will be at uh, at ten. Is someone injured? Oh, hmm. So we can't just play Drake and Novice because we'll go overboard. Yeah, I mean, uh, my instinct is to fireball this, but I understand your reluctance to use Vern, and then trade this into the one three. Yeah. But I think that attack certainly happens. Uh, what's the first card in your hand? I can't quite see. Arcane. Uh, okay. Useless. We could hope to find something with Drake that was two mana and didn't draw you a card. What to do? Can't say what that something would be. Doomsayer? That wouldn't be good. Uh, other than that, Fireball's not bad. And I think uh, play an Acolyte with it. Yeah. That's okay. Okay. His response is something like uh, Holy Nova. He wants to get rid of that force. To me. Let me change your mind. That's Even better. Oh, oh yes. Better for him. Yeah. Uh but not all that bad for us ultimately because we have a clogged hand and an arcane intellect. So uh Thelnos Blizzard isn't too bad. Uh, my idea was to... do that and then Azure Drake Ice Block. What to do? What hmm. to do? Drake ice block and leave the four one. Yeah, I guess he doesn't have any one damage. One is the same as two against priest, roughly. Right. That makes sense. Let's mm -hmm. see. Your idea was Thanos Blizzard for four. That doesn't. Um, I don't think that's essential. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. So oh my god. Developing the Drake is better. Ooh. Well, actually, hmm. I mean, that is. We're not gonna use. That because ice dances become dead cards if we do. Ah. Okay. okay. Fine. I think. But. It's just like, oh my gosh, it's five damage. It'll never be that good again. But yeah, the ice lances die then. You're right. It would be an incredible yeti kill, but or you know whatever that is, it's not a yeti. It's basically a yeti. It's a yeti. <laughs> but having not seen either holy nova or a holy fire. I want to be a little bit hesitant. I was even thinking if you hit him for four and bait out a uh, holy fire early, that could be worth a lot. <laughs> but it doesn't look like we have a Drake up to do that. Also, it doesn't look like we found our dragon. So, how many cards in the deck? Twelve. Twelve. 
Alright, so it seems like a Blizzard is essential in this turn. And then I guess Arcane End. 1, 2, 3, 4, we do something five, like six, seven, Novice eight. Images Blizzard. Oh, yeah, I guess that would be even safer. Or Belnose if we want to do... I don't know why we want to do extra damage to those, though. I don't think we have to. Alright. Yeah, Novice Image. Uh, that makes sense. Let's see. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine. Is the goal to play Alex Straza next turn? Then drawing two might then be better. Then Arcane is better. Yeah. It's just that if, uh, if like, Rag goes down, which is what I expect Priest to do, then ha having an Im image soak that up is, a is okay. Eh, I don't know. You're it is true that okay. our goal is to Alex next turn. So I think Arcane is better. You're right. I wonder. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I'm just wary of the booming Ragnaros. Got it. It does turn out we would have found Dazzle. With one cycle. Yep. However, with images remaining, we do get to Alex and Image. Which That's is pretty good. Pretty nice. Oh. It's even better now. Yeah. I bring So that game kind of came down to a, if Alex was on the bottom, we'd lose, huh? Oh yeah, but that's a, a big theme, unfortunately. The deck is quite built around Alex, and that's why it's exciting to a lot of people, and to me somewhat, to consider, like, well, if you have the alternative win condition, such as Antonidas, doesn't that in some way improve your consistency? And the answer for me was for a long time no, because it, it's more consistency just to put more card draw in and make sure you get Alex Shaza. I mean, I but, guess the kind of feeling I get, and I've played mm -hmm. this before today a little bit, is like this Pyroblast seems useless a lot of the time. Yeah, it, so it kind Antonitis, of fits the same purpose as uh, Archmage Antonitis. In, in how heavy it is to play? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, so the plan is very often to turn 8, uh, you know, as I said, the ideal one is Ice Block, Doom, Nova. Turn 9, Alex with Ice Block up. Then turn 10... Uh, you do the all the da all like seven mana's worth of damage plus. Oh, uh, started celebrating a bit early. Let me see. Let's. See. But I think that's. Yeah, but he left. He left eight damage up. So. Okay, so that would be fifteen. Yeah, so it's um, yeah, six, nine, thirteen, seventeen. Okay, cool. Actually, it's even more. Yeah. Anyway, Power Blast fit with a plan of the game that was working for me for a long time. Is the short answer. Sorry, I missed it. It was turn 8, like you get your block and you freeze them, turn 9 Alex, and then, then turn 10. Alex Straza. Then turn 10, you do the second Ice Block along with 7 mana worth of damage, so it could be something like Fireball, uh, Frostbolt, Ice Lance. Mm -hmm. And then after your second block has been extinguished, you finish with Pyro. I see. And I, th I thought that on that 11th turn, finishing with Antonidas into Mirror Image into a Fireball that you can't play, doesn't make any sense. I see. So for the that very specific yeah. situation, Pyroblast is the finisher I need and Antonidas is useless. Hmm, makes sense. Uh, so that's a situation that I kept running into, but it's true that in a, if a, a different scenario is happening, Antonidas can be quite good. It's just bad in that situation. Like for example against the Miracle, uh, when we played Firebat, I don't think Antonidas would have won us that game. Because we needed to do 25 over the course of two turns, very specifically. Hmm. Antonidas was not a way to replace Pyro in that, in that case. That's true. There was a lot of quote unquote downtime in that game, though, where it might have been simple to play the Antonidas and then like get two Fireballs. We might have had downtime, but all that mana that we spent cycling. Uh, was good. I don't know. It's it's iffy. Yeah, we're considering. Alright, so I think all this goes. Since we don't have card draw, I think it all goes. If you did have some card draw, I would keep a Doomsayer. I might even ah. keep Doomsayer anyway. I really like hanging on to Doomsayer early because later on, he has Keeper. And if okay. he innervates out a Yeti, I've very often found that like a turn 2 Doom kills that Yeti. Yeah, that, that's sound. Because he doesn't have an innervate, he can't play Keeper even if he has it in hand. So the kind of goal here with Doomsayer is to Doomsayer on whatever he plays. And if he plays Harvest Golem, yeah. then you're kind of sad. Then you're very sad, yeah. Right. But it's an iffier keep because he didn't find a, a Novice NG. Okay, I think I'm going to toss it. 
I think yeah. this probably comes down to play style. Yeah. Huh, we got it back. But it's a better hand. My greetings. Oh. And you're a big fan of just tossing this out on turn one. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Probably in large part because it fits the curve. Suppose that this deck had Archmage Antonidas in it. Would it be wrong to cast this on turn one? Absolutely. Like a lot of plays would become different if you had Antonidas. But I think uh, when I was watching some other people play, like I was not the first person to play Freeze Mage that season. People were trying it, uh, but they all had Antonidas in, and I hated a lot of the plays that they made because Antonidas was in the deck. Hmm. Like it made me frustrated to see images not get cast, to see like him not want to do certain things, etc. And so I thought, you know, why is he making his own deck worse for this card that doesn't even end up winning him the game sometimes? Hmm. Uh. So my grudge with Antonidas is is a uh, apropos of nothing. If it's cool. good, it's good. Thomas? Uh, yeah, I would cycle the Thomas. Supposing next turn he does this, would you frostbolt this guy? I would consider to doom if something else goes down. That looks like he's just gonna hear a power. Oh, and now I can't draw spells, so never mind. Acolyte. Yep. Yeah. Or Doom. Doom this? Really oh, okay. Lily yeah. isn't getting better. But I guess because he already put a Keeper out, uh, you're right. It's better to Acolyte. Because you might um, be able to make like a double Doom Slayer play later on in the game. Yeah, I mean, this is also kind of value. Yeah, it's great. But how, how often would you say this deck makes the value play? For uh, Doom Nova? Well, or uh, you mean just the value play in, in general? I, that's sort of a silly question. Uh, very often, you make unintuitive, non value looking plays. Like but, Doomsayer uh, there would have been better. Maybe Doomsayer there would have been better. But and right now, you don't know he's got image, an image Doom looks okay to me. Image Doom. That's cool. Yeah, alright. Which isn't on curve and isn't like the ideal use of either card, but I just want to slow him down. If he has the second keeper in his top uh, eight or whatever this is, then we're a little bit sad. Especially if it's throwing off the top. <laughs> Looks like not. He'll take his one damage on the face. Oh, he did. Mistake. Oh, right? that's right. Too lazy. All right, acolyte fire blast. Yeah, definitely. Pain, speak to me. Job done. It's like yeah, I'm too lazy to go through the motions to do one damage to you. One damage? That's not worth it. <laughs> Probably won't matter. I'd have to click three times, six times if you count clicking the. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. It. That acolyte value. Draw two, heal for four. And nice. Very good. Alright, um, I think Arcane in, and then I'd probably play a Frostbolt on this. Yeah, I would. Arcane first, but uh, I like armor as much or better than that. No, oh, because uh, it I dies to the Blizzard, Blizzard anyways. Blizzard is coming soon. Okay. And you have two armors that you that might want to get. That makes a lot of sense. Hand. Yeah. Plus, that secures the 15, no. I guess, later. Yeah. Although, Not you need to do 16. But yeah, this is the situation like I was talking about. Ice Armor again is just a Holy Nova. Or not Holy Nova, Frost Nova, sorry. Hmm. So it's a consideration. Because uh, then you could Blizzard next turn, and therefore you'd what be able to Blizzard on the turns before Alex when he has the most damage on board. If you Blizzard now, then on turn 8 he'll have... Uh, well, he might not have more damage on board unless he develops a lot. Okay, so it's something like uh, Novice, Ice Barrier, and Fire Blast his face. I think I would do that, and then plan the Blizzard next turn instead of now, but... Okay. There's even an option to, to have Blizzarded and Ice Lanced. Hmm, yep. So just clear the whole thing. But I think this is fine. You could even Frostbolt. Now that you found the other Frostbolt, you could have Frostbolted oh, the 4-5. Oh, the 4-2. Oh, the 4-5. Okay. Takes the same amount of damage off, and your and Blizzard is blocked. Hmm, makes sense. Oh, 
But I'll only do that because we found the other bus bolts. Hmm, right. Alright, well, it's Blizzard and... So we certainly are playing Alex offensively next turn. Yep. So we want to minimize the chance that we die after we do that. And we've found so much damage that I don't think it makes too much sense to be stingy. Alright, so Frostbolt, the uh, four... So I would... Four. The, uh, Take Drake. out the spell damage, yeah. Okay. Since the next turn... Well, turn ten looks to be Fireball, Frostbolt, Ice Lance for, uh... Uh, 13? Wait, I don't know. It's, it's gonna be 15. Alright. Mm. Maybe it's wrong to throw away burn here in case of tons of healing, like healing touch and both ancients of both. I actually think it's wrong since, but... uh, it seems like an ideal turn is to do fireball, fireball, frostbolt, and then you need the frostbolt for the ice lance. Okay. Well then, ping the 4 2. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I guess. But if we die after Estraza, because he has combo, it'll be a little bit sad. Oh, that's true. Because we didn't find a nice block. Hmm. We found all of our damage instead. Yep. This guy is named Anti-Mage. <laughs> I don't know what that means. 14... Um... We do have the option to finish off that Drake and develop the Ice Block. The good news is we don't lose to the combo. It Not only yet. does 30 damage. Okay. Wow. Good. Quick math. I, bring life. I played Druid a lot. Do that. 14 plus 16. Yeah, okay. That took me a long time. The shortcut way is just do 14 and then add up their damage, then like minions times 3. Add that. Gotcha. Yeah, that's. Or man minions times 2, rather. You can probably tell I didn't do a very mathematical studies in school compared to you. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't either. And it's something that is something you just pick up a lot on once you play enough games yeah. with the deck. Hmm. But we're not dead, so I think we win. Yeah, it's not like guaranteed, but it's pretty close 13 to 13 healing next turn. So Ice Block, Fireball, Frostball, right? Yeah. And then throw an Ice Lance on there too. Mm -hmm. Can you even consider Ice Block, Nova, Fireball? 3, 6, 10 because the next turn is 4, 6, 8, 9. Yeah, it makes sense. Because it, it means sense. that, yeah. We have another chance. If he somehow heals that on, right. we could find a higher boss with the extra okay. turn that we just gave ourselves. Yep. I'm a big fan of trying to increase win rate from 99% to 99.5. Exactly. It's helped sometimes. This is a, a deck where that kind of thing can matter. Yeah. Hey, Anti-Mage didn't get his job done today. <laughs>